Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Climb here. Thanks again for joining me on another, I guess, I don't know, episode or video. Um, this is kind of an old video. I've been, I apologize for being lack on my content, but trying to get better about it. I've got a ton of videos I'm trying to do. So uh, this is from the last Iron Banner, not the control one, but this is Clash. And so what I want to talk about through this one is my utilization of Scout Rifle and Fusion Rifle. I use this setup a lot, um, so I think I'm going to try to hopefully commentate uh, how how I like to play it and how I like to set up. Now you see, as the game starts, I go along the outside of it, try to get that flank. Um, a lot of times I'm just watching the edge of my radar, and so as I still see that someone's on the edge of my radar, I'm going to use my scout rifle. Uh, nothing more major there, I see most of my team is... Uh, on the other side, so we're kind of surrounding most of the map, and that's why I whipped out my ghost, because I'm pretty sure most, like, at least half of the team had left at this point, so it's going to be a little bit slow. I know someone's still at the edge of my radar. I'm just kind of waddling back and forth, uh, aiming down sights, just to try to see if I can get a pick. I'm using my Axian bolts here to kind of zone him out, to hopefully get a little bit damage damage when he chases. Um, and otherwise, I'm just kind of holding my ground, popping in and out. I do like to reload when I'm either behind cover and or when I'm ducking behind cover. I'm just kind of as a little as a little tidbit. Sorry we're not too exposed. So I'm chasing this guy. I'm just trying to see what, what's happening here. Again using my Axiom Dart to zone someone out. Somehow I get I think I get another kill here. <laughs> get a nice little four piece. That was pretty nice. Um, here I apologize I'm just being foolish with rock so just ignore my my stupidity um, but what I would do want you to notice is that I when I see someone die I'm trying to explode that to see if I can get a little bit of damage I'm gonna try to push from thinking about pushing from another side using my axiom darts again to kind of help zone if someone's out there and then just trying to watch in the radar when I see someone's pushing up close when I see that that middle tier of my radar um, start coming up that's when I'm gonna bust out my Fusion rifle. Sorry, I the word eluded me for a sec. My fusion rifle. So I want you to pay attention to that throughout the entire thing. Is that when it, someone's on the outskirts of my radar, I'm going to use my scout rifle. When someone comes up close, as it is here now, I see my radar flashing. I'm going to use my um, grenades to help zone, get a little damage, and then my um, fusion rifle as well. Just to be prepared for someone rushing you. You know people love using shotguns here, and especially at that range, it's either going to be last word shotgun or um, someone just trying to get you as best they can. <laughs> now this is just the standard iron banner lag. I was thankful I did not die there because I was, you know, you would just expect it for me to die from someone lagging that hard. Now, I'm not trying to push too hard. Um, obviously, I just died up in there. I could, or I could really do there. But I didn't want to chase that guy because I noticed on my map that most of my teammates were behind me. That meant that the team was in front of me. The opposing team was in front of me. If I were to push too hard, they would have um, had the upper hand from spawning in from the A side and would have been able to take me out. So even though I still died, I did make a good choice at least of backing up, not pushing in too hard, just being aware of where my team is. So you can kind of use the same principle, that range though, look at that, that's that some crazy range. Um, so you can kind of use that same principle within Clash or Control, just be very aware of wherever your team's at and try to stay on that same plane as they are. That again, like uh, I think I mentioned it before, but like that mid-map control. So here it was a great example of a shotgun versus fusion rifle. Now you could hear me pre-firing, but I kept moving in because... I made a really poor decision. I, I say often that I'm expecting someone to have a shotgun, and there I should have expected he had a shotgun. And so you heard me pre-firing, but I just I was closing the gap, closing the distance when the fusion rifle isn't made for that close close distance. That shotgun has is made for the close um, close range. So he played outplayed me very well there. But just kind of keep that in mind when you are using a fusion rifle versus that. Um, shotgun. So what I would have preferred to do is try to bait him out. So get a little bit closer, maybe back up, and then when there's a little bit of distance, then use my fusion rifle. Here I'm not using my fusion rifle 
um, because I figured it would have taken a lot longer for me to change over, charge up, than it would for me to at least get a little bit of damage on him. Thankfully, it still worked out using that blink um, for my advantage. Just get get over, confuse him, melee finished him off. There was a great example of me getting a double kill with the Telelock with the activity, or the activity, the special ability um, fully used, so I'm hanging on to my super. Except for moments like this, when I can get a few of their heavies down. And I thought I made a great play, and then foolish me, um, all of our teams over here. So <laughs> that's just bad communication on our part. So when heavy round comes up, just try to be good about communicating which, which heavy you're going to. Regardless, I think it was still a good, I don't know how I did not get a kill, or how I didn't die. My health. Look at this health. Um, but I still think it was a great utilization of my super to get at least get the, um, them off our heavy, if in, even if it was our heavy. So I don't regret it, uh, but just unfortunate that it did happen. This, you, you let me know when he swung, how he killed me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my PSA. Never be afraid to report someone. At least just make Bungie aware as if they probably aren't, but make just make them more aware. Make a very directed awareness. Anyway, that was pretty bad. I'm being a little aggressive, um, but I did push in from here and listening to my teammates, letting me know that he is hurt. He is absolute. He's and then pointing out where his information is. Uh, I want you to focus on here. There's a lot of guys close to my radar. I'm trying to see who's going to push me, who's not, but I still have my Susanu and I have my fusion rifle out. I'm still trying to pre-fire. Oh my goodness, the, l the lag, so bad. Uh, but that's about the, the, an adequate distance that you saw there, so definitely outside of the capability of a shotgun range, but um, being able to back up while someone's charging you is a good um, good use of that fusion rifle. And again, you see here, like I when I'm using my fusion rifle, if I'm going to be aggressive, I'm going to just continue walking forward against them while I'm charging so, and then I'll aim down sights right at the very uh, last second try to get uh, r refine the, the little cone that it comes up to <laughs> thankfully my blueberry saved me because maybe you've seen this on a few other of my videos for some reason I'll just stop firing I think that oh five or six shots whatever four shots should kill the guy and he doesn't die and then I almost died so thank you blueberry uh, again, right there, I, I, I thought he should have died, I stopped firing, and I didn't get the kill. It was a, just a terrible choice. And then, uh, I could, I don't know, that could have been the guy I was trying to kill. And he ended up killing me, so, a misplay, unfortunately. But, the Telelock is absolutely beast. I love using this thing, and Nova Bomb is just a great, um, great partner with it. Because you can either use it as, like, a shutdown, um... I think, I don't know honestly why I was trying to do anything there, but I use my Nova Bomb as a either shutdown super or for uh, very particular, like emergency information, it's like a fist of panic kind of information, or, um, situation. Again, just the rate of fire is incredible. Um, when I am weak, you'll see me try to back up and crouch a lot, you'll see, ah, that's too bad. Um, you'll see me kind of crouch a lot, uh, just to try to get as small as possible, help throw off their aim. I'll um, strafe back and forth. You just gotta do what you can um, to, uh, to obviously survive. Because for me, so it helps with my KDs. Is just it's all about survivability rather than necessarily deaths. So the longer you can survive, the the better your team and situations are going to be. Because if you have to take an extra ten seconds for you to die, respawn, and run back to that same scenario, you already know so much has already changed. The entire framework has changed. So the name of the game for me is always going to be survivor survivability over uh, killing. So hopefully that at least helps you um, kind of understand where, where my mindset usually is. I don't know. I, I don't know how he didn't die there. That was just dumb. Sometimes the fusion rifles are like spot on and the range is incredible. And sometimes <laughs> with shotguns, it's like, how did that not kill you? Um, but we're getting close to the mat end of the match here. Uh, Blueberry finishes it off, and I just get a cheeky little um, Nova Bomb here to finish it. But I hope that kind of helped explain a little bit of my decision making, what I felt was good, uh, what I felt was bad or could have used improvements. Um, if you have any other suggestions or concerns or comments, let me know. 
but especially for how I want to, how I love to use scout rifle and fusion rifle. Um, hopefully this kind of helps you differentiate at what range to use it and which one not to. So thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I'll keep getting content out, so uh, look forward to it. See you later.